this might be the greatest article ever written. I'm I'm already excited about it. Haven't read it, but this is this is for me. The five stages of Vim. A humbling experience. Okay, okay, let's hear about it. I'll tell you before I even look at before I even look at this. I'm, I'm just, don't even look at it. For me, it started off with Vim motions in idea vim in IntelliJ. That was so much fun. By like two days into it, I already knew I liked it more than anything else. By like one week into it, I discovered F and F blew my mind. F and T, oh, I was flying. Then the percent sign, I used to do this motion that I'd do shift V for the highlight the whole line, F squirrely brace, percent sign D. Loved deleting a function that way. It was so good. It was so, so, so good. All right. And then I had to learn about the VimRC. And then I felt really, 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 really confused. All right. As I started typing this post in my editor of choice, spoiler alert, it's NeoVim, got him. I can't help but think about where I was just a few months ago, blissfully ignorant and content in what I thought was the only obvious choice, VS Code. This article is just give it, this, this article has excited my jimmies, okay? Has it ruffled, excited them. To me, Vim was something to check carefully for when copying and pasting commands. It had to be delicately replaced with nano. What? Or risk rebooting the server. <laughs> This dude's a thousand percent private joy, or probably. I had no idea what it was or why anyone would use it. Absolutely. This is good. Stage one, ignorance. Okay. VS Code is great. It had everything I could possibly want. Dude, I was literally this person. NetBeans, though. Or IntelliJ. It became IntelliJ, but NetBeans was the original one. NetBeans was the one where it was just like, I still remember that I would look at my friend Randy. His name was literally Randy. And I was like, Randy, why are you using Vim? And he's just like, Vim's the best. He was like such a dork. And I was sitting there thinking, me being the cool guy, okay? That's super cool, okay? I was like playing basketball, being super cool, going to bed early. And I thought, man, only dorks use Vim. I had no idea what was about to happen in my life, okay? I had no idea. If I had clairvoyance, I'd be laughing at myself then. But man, I thought Vim was stupid. And if I didn't, uh, there was an extension for it. I was fam familiar with the shortcuts and the interface. I could run and debug my code with a single click. My configuration was carefully curated. I had a theme that I liked. I had a few extensions that I couldn't live without. I was happy. I was productive. I was ignorant. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You knew he, you knew he was. All right, I hurt my microphone. He was cool. Then Vim hit him in the knee. Then I got Vimmed right in the knee. Then I went from hanging out with babes to learning Vim motion. Okay, stage two, curiosity. Pre-watched, pre-read. I started watching videos from the creator called The Prime Gen, a charismatic and entertaining Netflix engineer who is clearly passionate about the topic. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with that statement uh, about being charismatic, kind of funny, kind of funny. <laughs> quoted that one watching it move so gracefully through a file i couldn't help but wonder if i was missing out on something i was happy i was productive i was curious literally this exact same like i can see myself in this person's shoes by the way anders backen netflix engineer walked over to his desk and i went hey could you show me why these two versions of the tv application are behaving differently and he's just like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumped in his Emacs. It was Emacs, okay? Didn't even type properly. Types like this because he uses Emacs because, I mean, I don't know how else you type without... With... Emacs is all weird looking. And he just gets on there, just, just starts moving. And things are flying. He's moving so fast. I'm over there in IntelliJ with my Vim plugin thinking I'm swift. And I have never seen somebody move like this. And I thought, I have done everything wrong. Hands down. That was like that day it dawned on me that I was so wrong about my development. And that was like, what, 2015, 2016, somewhere right in there. And I just thought, enough with these Vim motions. It's time. Vim it is. I went deep. I decided to give it a try. I installed NeoVim and opened up a file. I'd seen enough videos uh, to know that I needed to start with Vim Tutor, So I did. This is awful. How could you possibly be productive? You're telling me that instead of clicking where I need to go, I should spam H, J, K, and L until I get there? And what's with all these weird commands? Right, quit, quit, bang, right, quit, all? This is ridiculous. I quit. This cycle repeated itself a few times. So, uh, something would spark my curiosity or inspiration, and I'd jump headfirst into Vim, get frustrated, go back to VS Code. I was happy. I was productive. I was in denial. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of my favorite memes of all time. Whenever I get a chance to use this one, I will use this one when possible. Stage four, embracing the suck. 
I'm not sure why I made that sound. It just felt right in the moment, but afterwards, it didn't make any sense. So we're just gonna move on from that situation that just, just happened. I sucked the Zuck, okay? I Zuck sucked right there, okay? That's all that was. Robin, Robin vibes? I gave some heavy Robin vibes, okay? Life doesn't make sense. Sometimes you just gotta go for it, okay? <laughs> I decided to give it one more try. I was going to stick with it no matter how much it sucked. I was going to learn Vim. I wasn't going to give up. This is always easier said than done. Really sucking at something is hard. It's frustrating. It's humbling. It's uncomfortable. But it's also the only way to get better. Growing up, I was pretty good at most things. I tried sports, school, music. Generally, things would come pretty easily. What I noticed now that I'm in the beginnings of adulthood is how big of an impact this has on my adult life. If I don't pick something up almost immediately, there's a good chance I'm not going to try it again. This is an incredibly insightful observation right here, by the way. This is like, this is really good. I've seen this a lot of times. This is something like even Rockstar, the one that we all laughed at earlier. Really sweet, endearing, very nice, gentle Rockstar that we all laughed at together collectively. He talked about the exact same thing. This has led me to miss opportunities, unfinished projects, and a lot of wasted time. I've slowly started to realize that the things that are worth doing are the things that are hard. The things that are worth doing are the things that you suck at. By this time, I was going to stick with it. I was going to embrace the suck. I was going to learn Vim, and I wasn't going to give up. I was unhappy. I was unprepared productive. I was learning. I like it. I like it. Stage five, enlightenment. I'm not going to lie. I'm still not great at Vim, but I was learning new things every day, but I'm getting better. I'm getting faster. I'm getting more productive. I wrote my own configuration from scratch. Nice job. Use Kickstart, by the way, for those that don't know, literally just go to kick, uh, Kickstarter uh, or uh, NeoVim Kickstart. Use this. It's a great place to start. They don't have harpoon because they're ignorant, and I feel like I'm going to throw chop them, but everything else about this is fantastic, okay? Absolutely check this out. 100% of the time, best place to start right here. Absolutely. Best place to start every time. I have a theme that I like. There are several plugins that I now can't live without. There are things I've learned throughout this process that I would never feasibly come across if I'd stuck with VS Code. I have a greater appreciation for open source and all the hard work that goes into maintaining the software that powers the world. Most importantly, I'm thankful to myself for sucking at something long enough to see the results. I am happy. I am productive. I am grateful. You gotta suck long enough to see the results. I know that phrase doesn't work with Twitch chat. I know that's just not a phrase Twitch chat's gonna uh, going to accept, but it's true. If you're not willing to suck long enough, you will not see results. I loved this article, by the way. I loved it. This was so good. This was so good. People love this, okay? Love this article. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. Do we got like a, 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 a Scott... Scott McKendry, where's your like little, where's your like little t Twitter links? Okay, I don't even see like a little Twitter link. I see a GitHub link. I'm not following nobody on GitHub. I ain't following nobody on GitHub. I ain't following nobody on GitHub. Uh, you don't understand. You were the catalyst. We need uh, something uh, in its majestic to feel the awe, the awesome, then strive for it. Do you? You are a dick if you're not following anyone. Uh, this is a fact of life. I, I, I will get there. The name is the primogen. <laughs>